माय नेम इज अक्षिता आई एम फ्रॉम रोहतक हरियाणा आई डिड माय मास्टर्स इन बायोटेक्नोलॉजी फ्रॉम थापर इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ इंजीनियरिंग एंड टेक्नोलॉजी एंड आई हैव बीन टीचिंग फॉर द पास्ट टू इयर्स सो टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट विद द वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक दैट इज सेल स्ट्रक्चर एंड फंक्शन सेल स्ट्रक्चर एंड फंक्शन so i am going to explain you like what are cells types of cells and cell organelles cell organelles now see we all love uh, reading story books correct so each story it is framed with sentences sentences they are framed with what words now can you tell me like words are made up of what so words are made up of letters so letters here letters are what these are small entities right now if you notice everything around us everything it is made up of small entities so what are these small entities called so these small entities they are known as basic unit basic unit now did you know our human body our body is also made up of basic unit although it uh, it looks like a single body but it is made up of millions of basic units now what are these basic units so these basic units they are known as cells these basic units they are known as cells so we can say cells are the basic units cells are the basic unit of life okay now in some organisms you know some organisms they are made up of only single cell so those organisms which are made up of only single cell they are known as unicellular organism they are known as unicellular organism uni means single means unicellular organism they contain only single cell they are made up of only single cell suppose um, Uh, the best example of unicellular organism is bacteria see bacteria if you see the structure of bacteria uh, it is uh, only made up of single cell here see this is what bacteria only sing made up of only single cell right it is very simple now next is so there are organisms which are made up of more than you know one cell so those organisms which are made up of more than one cell they are known as multicellular organism multi cellular organism here multi means as you can see from the name multi means more than one right so those organism they contain uh, you know those contain uh, they contain more than one type of cells uh, those organisms they are known as multicellular organisms for example human beings right human beings dogs elephants cats any anything right they are made up of what multicellular or uh, 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 what we say more than one cell correct now here the very important question comes since multicellular organism they are made up of more than one cell like are all the cell uh, cells they are same or not of course not so all the cells they are not same let's discuss how now see here look there are three cells correct now look at these three cells these are different right these three cells are different so the first one is ovum the first one is ovum second is neuron the last one is red blood cell or you can say rbc so these three now look at these three cells they are different in their shape their size and their function and their structures they are different but you know when they combine so they uh, so we can say like uh, body our body is made up of different types of cells coming together in different numbers okay so cells are not same cells are different okay now uh, let's discuss one more example now i am comparing brick with a cell see this is what this is a brick like uh, uh, the basic unit okay 
and comparing this with a cell now when we join bricks together then what happens there is a formation of wall here see wall wall is formed similarly when cells are joined together there is a formation of tissue now when walls when we you know combine walls together then what happens there is a formation of room room is formed here see room is formed similarly when tissues are joined together then there is a formation of organ and now see there are different rooms present correct like washroom living room bedroom so we can compare these different rooms with organ system so organ system are what organ system is uh, you know it is made up of different organs right for example digestive system is an organ system circulatory system nervous system digestive system is made up of like stomach pancreas these are what these are organs okay now now next is now after that there is a formation of beautiful house there is a formation of beautiful house or you can say organism clear now you can see from here like how important the cell is now we have uh, covered like cells right now next is let's discuss types of cells types of cells now see the on earth there are basically two types of cells you know that are present and uh, these type uh, two types of cells are prokaryotic cell and eukaryotic cell prokaryotic cell and eukaryotic cell now see prokaryotic cell so prokaryotic means pro means what before and karyo means nucleus before nucleus if you see prokaryotic cell you would be surprised like how simple it is see you, uh, suppose this is prokaryotic cell inside the prokaryotic cell dna is present but dna is uh, not surrounded by any membrane it is present at a specific region in the cytoplasm okay so prokaryotic cell they are very simple and they are very uh, you know they are uh, like uh, ancient most ancient types of cells their structure is very very simple now coming to eukaryotic cell u means true u means true and karyo means nucleus means eukaryotic cells they contain nucleus true nucleus is present and inside the nucleus dna is present so if we compare these two cells so eukaryotic cells they are more complex they are larger in size and they have multi uh, they what we say they have membrane bound organelles and nucleus right so yeah one more thing see here this is what prokaryotic cell this is eukaryotic cell now let's compare these two cells see the difference prokaryotic cells they are very simple eukaryotic cells they are complex as you can see here see many structures are present correct now here types of cells are done now coming to cell organelles cell organelles now the question is what are organelles so organelles here means little organs little organs now suppose this is a cell see this is what a cell now cells contain cell organelles different structures right like different structures are present inside the cell correct so these are what different structures now i am comparing this cell with a city any city you belong to which you belong to correct see here this is a city now city city has a border correct similarly cell has a border called cell membrane cell membrane so basically cell membrane separates the interior and exterior of the you know uh, basically the surroundings of the cell right now in the city in the city uh, there is a presence uh, present uh, you know city hall is present 
where you know all the meetings they are held so similarly inside the cell what is present nucleus is present like city hall is present here all the meetings are held you know which um, basically controls the functions uh, functioning of the city similarly inside the cell nucleus is present so we can compare this city hall with what nucleus because nucleus is what nucleus is the control center of the cell right now here in the city post office is present here see post office is present can you see post office so now can you tell me uh, like uh, which organelle of the cell is uh, uh, you know known as the post office it is golgi apparatus golgi apparatus why golgi apparatus because golgi apparatus basically it helps in the sorting of molecules right now near the post office see bakery is present bakery is present so we can compare bakery with chloroplast why why chloroplast see we know bakery what happens in bakery you know uh, food is being food is made right similarly chloroplast chloroplast is known as the kitchen of the cell here food is food is prepared correct now here can you see here here factory is present in the city right so here factory we can denote factory as like we can call it as like ribosome we can compare factory with ribosome why ribosome ribosomes because they are known as protein factory proteins are made in the ribosomes right now next is beautiful buildings are present in the city here see beautiful buildings are present in the city and lights are coming out of the buildings right so here we can compare this uh, building with mitochondria why mitochondria because we know mitochondria mitochondria is what mitochondria is known as the powerhouse of the cell because atp is produced atp is what energy right now here next is garbage bin is present here in the city so we can compare this garbage bin with lysosome so inside the cell similarly lysosome is present where all the wastes you know they are dumped correct lysosome now here can you see river or pond is present so we can compare this river or pond with vacuole vacuole of the cell why because vacuole vacuole you know it is made up of it contains liquid fluid or minerals and uh, uh, waste or food correct now see here the structure of here see the structure of the cell we have nucleus this is nucleus inside the nucleus nucleolus is present correct and here this is what endoplasmic reticulum correct this is golgi apparatus this one is vacuole this is what lysosome ribosomes mitochondria and this one is chloroplast chloro plast okay now now see this was about cell organelles now i am sharing with you some mnemonics or tricks to learn cell organelles organisms they possess single membrane bound organelle double membrane bound organelle and no membrane bound organelle here okay so we can learn uh, the organelles by using you know uh, mnemonics like uh, for single membrane bound organelle please eat very less golgappa golgappa here p stands for peroxisomes peroxisomes e means endoplasmic reticulum v means vacuole l means lysosomes and g means golgi apparatus okay this is how you can learn uh, the names of the organelles now next is d uh, for double membrane organelles we can use like 
M and C, this mnemonic, multinational company. M means mitochondria, N, nucleus, C, chloroplast. Okay. And for no membrane bound organelles means they, they contain no membrane, means a membrane is absent. So here we can learn CR. CR means class like class representative. Okay. C centrosome R ribosome. Okay. So see, we have finished cell organelles. Now coming to the conclusion, so I have explained you like cells, like what are cells, uh, like cells are what, these are the basic units of life, correct? And I, then I explained you unicellular organism, multicellular organism, the difference between them. And then uh, we did types of cells, prokaryotic cells and eukaryotic cells. Pro means like they are very simple without nucleus, while eukaryotic cells means they are complex, nucleus is present. Then I explained you different cell organelles, right? Different so, uh, cell organelles uh, we did, correct? I explained you like mitochondria, lysosome, ribosomes, and many more organelles, okay? So this was about our, like, today's class. So we are done with the class. If you have any questions, you can ask. Yeah. Okay, then uh, in the next class, I'll explain. You will discuss cell organelles and their function, their structure in detail. So thank you so much. See you in the next class.